The first step in our Japanese Natan is to place our black square in the center of our watercolor paper. That just means we're gonna make sure there's even space on each side, it's not crooked. You can either set it up like a perfect square or you could turn it like a diamond and place it like this. For this one, my tip is to make sure these corners are matching up perfectly with the sides of your paper. So just do your best to try to center it that way if you wanna go that direction. Once you have it where you want it to go, we're gonna take our pencil and lightly, very lightly, we're just gonna trace it so we can see where the square should go every time we pick up our paper. So you'll see what I mean in a little bit. Next, we're gonna be cutting out our organic shapes on each side of our natan. So we're gonna be focusing on positive and negative space as we work. And two things we need to really think about when we're cutting is do not start cutting on the corners. So don't cut on the corners. And then also don't cut your design higher than halfway. So you wanna stop about halfway. And that's because when we flip your shape over, if it's higher than that, it's probably gonna go off of the page. So you're gonna make sure you're not going past halfway and you're just gonna use your scissors and cut out some different shapes. Now that I have these two organic shapes cut, I'm actually going to cut one more shape in the middle of them. I always like to put my pieces back in like a puzzle to make sure I have them all. And I'm gonna, it's gonna help me figure out which way I need to flip them to glue them on the other side. So the first thing you need to do is make sure your square is perfectly lined up with the traced square on the outside. And then I'm going to take these pieces I cut, the biggest pieces first, and all I'm gonna do is flip it. I'm not gonna turn it, rotate it, just completely flip it and lay it on this side here. Now, this is going to be my positive space, and I just created a negative space in here. And that piece here is now the positive space, and this is the negative space. I'm creating a balance here. This little piece will stay here because on the opposite side, you have its negative shape here. So I have everything where I want it to be, and I'm gonna glue it down. This might be the hardest part, just figuring out which side gets the glue. But I, I have, as I have them lying here, it's easy for me to see. So all I'm gonna do is turn this one over, put glue on it, and I'm gonna make sure it's gonna match. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Also, make sure you're doing a good job with your glue so that it really sticks and no little pieces are gonna be coming up. Now that I have glue on the right side, I'm gonna make sure my square is lined up again and I'm going to try to line it up with the shape here. I'm gonna actually put my pieces, the edges of them, on the pencil line. That will help me make sure it goes right to the edge. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and just tap this on. If your fingers are getting a little sticky, just go ahead and kind of rub off that glue because you don't want your, <laughs> you can see here I have a little bit of glue on my piece. You don't really want that. So now I need to glue down this little section here and I gotta make sure that I turn it over and make sure I'm putting glue on the right side. So it's gonna match right here. Once again, I'm lining it up on the pencil line so that it matches perfectly.
We do not want to glue this piece down yet because we still need to pick it up and continue cutting. You're going to create designs on all three sides and glue them in the same way. So put them back in like a puzzle piece, flip them over and glue them down as you go. Don't go past halfway though, okay? 